everybody welcome and welcome back to my youtube creative studio i'm so happy you decided to spend some time with me and with my crocheting today i would like to show you how to crochet this amazing coal which you can wear as a turtle neck coal or a hooded coal which is perfect isn't it uh, the pattern notes are available in the box below this video tutorial and the written pattern is available for free on my blog and you see I will use this amazing uh, Lurex shining glitter papatia cake silver in one ball uh, 150 grams there are 540 meters and uh, from one cake you can very easily create a nice uh, shawl, nice scarf or coal. Look at these colors, they are so so amazing, lovely and I will show you how to create the coal for girls, teenage girls and this size also fits uh, nicely to me. You will need four millimeters crochet hook. I will use it for my whole project and we will start with a magic ring. We will create a triangle and then we will add the hood or the neck warmer. So make a magic ring and chain one. Then we will work four double crochet stitches into the magic ring. So one, two, three, and four. Then chain two, one, two, and four more double crochets into the magic ring. One, two, three, and four. Now you can tie the end and close the magic ring. In the first row there are four double crochets, two chains and four double crochets. Now chain one and turn your work. We will work in rows. So chain one and turn your work when you finish each row. Now place three double crochets in the first stitch. One, two and three. And this is how you will start every and each row. So three double crochet in the first stitch. Then place one double crochet in each stitch till you reach chain two space. One, two and three. Now we reach the middle the center and we will work two double crochets one and two then chain two one two and two more double crochets in chain two space and this is the middle of the row which you will create in each and every row. Now place one double crochet in next three stitches till you reach the last stitch and in every last stitch place one, two, three double crochet stitches. One, two, and three. We started with three double crochet and we ended up with three double crochet stitches as well. 
Let's start round number three. So chain one and turn your work. We will work in rows and I don't count chain one as a stitch. Start with three double crochets placed in the first stitch. So one, two, three. You see, we have double crochet in this previous row and I will uh, create like a small windows. I will chain one and skip one double crochet in this row. So chain one, skip one stitch and work in the next one and place a double crochet there. Chain one, skip one and place double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip one and work a double crochet into the next. Chain one and then we reach the center. So you will place two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets and chain two space from the previous row. And this is what you will do in each and every row in the middle. Here we are. And repeat these instructions for the first half of a row. So chain one, skip one and place double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip one and double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one and now work three double crochets in the last stitch. Again, let me remind you, we started with three double crochet stitches. So in the first stitch, we always have three stitches. And also in the last stitch, we have three double crochet stitches. This is it. A look at my work. We just finished the third row. Next row will be easy. I will work double crochet stitches in each and every stitch. I will start with three double crochets. One, two, three. Now place a double crochet in next two stitches in chain one space and then in double crochet, chain one space, double crochet, chain one space till you reach the middle. So one and two. Now we reach chain one space. So work around this chain one space. So don't work in chain one but in the space. Then work double crochet and double crochet double crochet in chain one space and you can continue till you reach chain two space in the middle and you already know the pattern okay here we are So in chain two space, place two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets. And you can continue and place one double crochet in each stitch and in each 
chain one space till you reach the last stitch and into the last stitch place three double crochets one two three here I am I just reached the last stitch and place one two three stitches in it this is it we just finished four rows and let's start row number five chain one then your work place three double crochet stitches into the first stitch and I will show you how we will create a lovely bubble stitch in this row okay so into the next stitch place five unfinished double crochet so we will join five double crochets one two don't finish it three don't finish the third one yarn over fourth and yarn over and fifth don't finish it we have six loops on the hook now yarn over and pull yarn through all loops on your hook perfect now one single crochet into the next stage to fix a bubble and bubble will appear on the opposite side now place one single crochet in next two stitches one two and let's make a bubble into the next stitch we will again join five double crochet stitches so the first one the second one don't finish it the third one the fourth one and the last one we have six loops on the hook yarn over and pull yarn through all loops on your hook then place one single crochet in next three stitches one two and three and you will find again the bubble on the opposite side now work a bubble stitch so join five double crochet stitches still work into the same stitch perfect and the last stitch join all stitches together and then a single crochet into the next stitch one two and three and the last bubble so you will have four bubbles in this round perfect and again a single crochet and you will place two double crochets chain two and two double crochets in chain two space as always one two chain two and one and two and now easily repeat the instructions and create the bubble stitches on the uh, opposite side so again you will have four bubbles and you will finish with three one two three double crochet stitches so we have one two three four one two three four doubles and we can continue with 
next round, round number six. Start with three double crochets into the first stitch and then you will continue with double crochet stitches and you will place one double crochet in each and every stitch. Okay, and please count a bubble as a stitch as well. So you will work a double crochet into the bubble and then in next three single crochets from the previous row. Again on the top of the bubble. Then one double crochet in next three single crochets and you will continue till you reach the center. Okay. So this is the row with double crochet stitches only. Okay. And the next row will be the row with uh, the small windows. So I'm now repeating the pattern, repeating rows 2, 3, 4 and 5. And this is what you will repeat till you are satisfied with the length of your call. So now chain 1, skip 1 and place double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, so let's repeat row number three. Then we will repeat row number four and five. So chain one, skip one and double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, and one double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip one and one double crochet into the next stitch and you know in the middle you will place two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets here and three double crochets in the last stitch. Perfect. And next round is the round with double crochet stitches. And the next is a row with bubbles. So you can now very easily repeat row number two, three, four and five. So now I'm working on the row with bubbles. Three double crochets in the first stitch. Then work a bubble stitch into the next stitch. So five double crochet stitches joined together. They are placed in the one double crochet from the previous row. We have six loops on the hook and we will join them together. Now one single crochet into the next stitch next three stitches and a bubble stitch. So place five unfinished double crochets into the next stitch. Join them together. So yarn over, pull yarn through all loops on your hook and then place one single crochet in next three stitches. This is it. And then a bubble. Super easy, isn't it? And I love this pattern. It will grow automatically. Now we have eight bubbles. You will have always a multiple of four. So we have four, eight, then twelve, sixteen and twenty. 
okay so let's continue and I will meet you once you have your goal finished once you are satisfied with the length and the circumference okay So repeat row number two, three, four, and five. And here we are. <laughs> I just finished uh, the row 20. You see, this is the row with uh, double crochet stitches. And this is my last row. But you see, uh, there is a pink color started in the um middle of the row and i think it's uh, it doesn't look uh, so nice so i will start this pink color from the beginning of the row and i skip that silver part okay so i just want to have my cool are really really nice and good visible so start a new yarn pull it through the last stitch and then chain one and place three double crochets in the first stitch and we will see how long this uh, pink color will be I hope it will be enough to make the last row so it's a row with double crochet stitches simply place one double crochet in each and every stitch count chain one space as a stitch this is much much better okay so I will meet you at the end of this row and then we will join both ends together here we are you see it's it's perfect now with the, the pink row at the end so let me recap I made 20 rows for my goal I join both uh, ends with a slip stitch and now let's make the turtle neck I will place two double crochet in each last stitch okay so you see there are double crochet stitches at the end so I will place two double crochet in each double crochet okay and work around the double crochet it's much more easy and it will look really nice you will see so this is the first uh, row actually we will work in rounds we will work in joint round so i will finish each round with a slip stitch which is placed in the first chain first stitch at the beginning okay perfect i will meet you at the end of this round we will join the round with a slip stitch and now I will show you a new pattern okay we have two double crochets in each double crochet let's join the round place a slip stitch on the top of the first stitch I'm happy that the pink color is also for the first round now chain one and place a front post double crochet around the first stitch so inside the hook from the front to back and back to front 
and finish a double crochet like this then place one double crochet into the next two stitches one and two okay one two then again two front post double crochets one and the second front post double crochet and again a double crochet in next two stitches this is it one and two and two front post double crochets one and two okay so we have one pair of standard normal double crochet stitches and one pair of front post double crochet stitches and it's easy to count it because we place two double crochets in each double crochet in the previous row now join the round with a slip stitch chain one and again we will start with front post double crochet now it will be much more easier as we will work a front post double crochet in front post double crochet and normal double crochet in uh, double crochet stitches from the previous round okay so one and two two front post you can clearly see them one and two okay so we have two front post double crochet and two normal double crochets one pair and one pair and i will continue with this pattern till i'm satisfied with the length and uh, we will see how this big ball big cake of yarn uh, will uh, finish we will see the colors grades in a while and i'm so excited how they are changing okay so two double crochets join the round with a slip stitch you see it's now really nice pattern on our turtle neck okay so two and two and look at my work it's so nice i love the colors and i love this uh, glitter yarn so i will i'm going to use this cake it's papatia cake silver we have 540 meters <laughs> so now we are about in half of our work and i will meet you once you finish your turtleneck and here i am look at the colors they are so so nice I love how they are changing so let me measure this part it has 32 centimeters 12.5 inches and I made 34 rounds okay it has 29 centimeters 11.5 three inches so the circumference is uh, 60 centimeters and 22.5 inches and i will also measure the length of the coal it has also 32 centimeters 12.5 inches okay so the length of both parts is the same look at it perfect so this is it and now this is the rest of ball i have it's 
nice brown chocolate color and I will show you how to finish the top of the neck warmer you can do it or not it's up to you so I will make uh, a front post double crochet in each front post double crochet then chain two and skip two double crochet stitches again place a front post double crochet in next two front post double crochets then chain two one two skip two stitches and again place front post in each front post so we have two front post double crochets chain two two front post double crochets and chain two and i always skip the normal double crochet stitches and once you finish the round join the round with a slip stitch and you can pull a string through the chain two spaces okay and the last round will be the same as the rounds we created for the whole neck warmer so two front post double crochet two normal double crochets now i place uh, two double crochets in chain two space okay so two front post double crochets and two double crochets in chain two space amazing and this is the last round and we will finish the goal with a slip stitching around around the last round okay so one post in next two stitches and then two doubles in chain two space and you can create a string i simply uh, create a string the foundation chain i used three strands together and create this lovely string i decided to use a really contrasting uh, cow for the string so i have nice brown no, chocolate brown uh, color on the top of the neck warmer and i use this white yarn now if you want you can place a slip stitch into each stitch around just to fix the last round you can join the round with a normal slip stitch or i can show you how to do the invisible join so it's up to you you can cut the end now pull the end and now insert the hook into the first slip stitch you created at the beginning and pull yarn under the uh, front and back loop of this first slip stitch then insert the hook from the inside to the uh, or between the front and back loops of the last slip stitch you created and we nicely joined the first and the last slip stitch and this is the rest of yarn so i absolutely used the whole cake i love it it's so so cute okay so you can make a knot it's perfect now you can hide the ends actually i have two more as i change the color on my coal but if 
you will use the whole cake from the beginning till ends. It's easy to hide the end as there is only one. <laughs> so it's easy. Now we can fix the ends of the string. So make a knot at the end and cut the strands. Okay, so it's easy and we are done. <laughs> Perfect. This is it. I love it. So this is the end of my video tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. In case of any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. You can put the comment in the box below this video tutorial or you can contact me on my Facebook page, on my blog, Instagram or Pinterest. I'm always there and happy to help. Uh, the written pattern is available for free on my blog. If you like this video tutorial, please give me your thumb up and don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel, share it and comment it. So wish you happy crocheting, take care and bye for now. Bye bye.